All right, guys, welcome to another video where today we're going to talk about five Thomas & Friends DVD releases that I believe you should own, and you should add these to your collection, whether you find them on eBay or out in the wild at Goodwill, half Price Books, places like that. You should get these, add them to your collection. And if you have all these, then good for you. You know, I'm not making this video for you. It's mainly for people who are trying to get into Thomas & Friends collecting on physical media. So, let's just jump right into it with Thomas Gets Tricked. Now, I picked this over a DVD release like the early years because this is more accessible. This is how you get the uh, Season 1 Ringo Starr narrated episodes of Thomas and Friends in, you know, easier fashion. You could either get the Anchor Bay release or you could find the, uh, the re-release by Lionsgate. I don't know if Universal reprinted this, so, you know, there's the inside, by the way. This is the first release. And yeah, you get seven of season one's episodes. And we're going to take a look at them here on the pamphlet. You get Thomas Gets Tricked, Henry to the Rescue, Edward Helps Out, A Big Day for Thomas, Thomas Saves the Day, Come Out Henry, and Trouble for Thomas. And for some reason, the episodes are out of order here. But uh, here's the order for you. And yeah, pretty cool release. I mean, even with whether you get the pamphlet or not, you get... A lot of pretty cool uh, bonus features here. And um, here's the, you get the memory game, which if you're into the games, then this is one of the one of the better ones, I'd say. Here's the song, you get Come For The Ride. Most Thomas fans know this as probably one of the better classic era Thomas and Friends sing-along songs. Definitely one of my favorites. And you get the character gallery, which is absolutely fun to look through. You know, look at every character that they decided to put in here. There's the main menu. Classic stuff, iconic stuff, nostalgic stuff. Now the, uh, you know, artwork is not the best. You have Thomas here from Thomas and the Jet Engine for some bizarre reason, driving past what looks like Callan Castle. But uh, yeah, I do enjoy though that it's purple. You know, purple Thomas and Friends releases do stand out. Um, Trust Thomas is one of them for sure. But yeah, definitely pick this pick this uh, release up. You get the first ever Thomas episodes. Yep, good stuff. Okay, moving on. And moving right along, we have On Sight with Thomas. Now, this DVD release is very special to a lot of us because it includes episodes from the spin-off about Jack and the Soda Construction Company. There's a DVD. No pamphlet in this one, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, we were introduced to these characters in season six, and they finally got their own spin-off. For, for some reason, they decided to do that. You know, I'm not complaining, because it was only expanding the Thomas and Friends universe to, you know, the roads. The Soda Construction Company is all construction vehicles, which is amazing. There's a spine. Like I said, you don't have to get this specific release. Um, Re-releases pretty much include every single bonus feature and episode and we're gonna take a look at them right now because we don't have a pamphlet um, we have the character gallery once again one of the better bonus features you can get in these dvds you get a read-along story of down at the docks two sing-along songs this time the work song which is unique to this um, season including footage from all these episodes one of my favorite songs as well and you get the engine roll call you know not really a unique uh, song to this DVD release. You can pretty much find it in every season 8 onwards um, Thomas and Friends DVD release, but anyway, you get two bonus DVD games Build the Dino, which I believe is unique to this release, and the Trivia Challenge. Those are always fun, you know, test your knowledge of Thomas and Friends. And DVD ROM game Soda Memory Match, which I have not played because I don't have a PC to put it in. But uh, yeah. On Side with Thomas, essential if you want to get into Jack and the Pack. You know, not many episodes, and I picked this one over Thomas's Trusty Friends because I believe this has the uh, the better episode selection here. A Visit from Thomas, Jack Owns Up, On Side with Thomas, Percy's Scary Tale, Kelly's Windy Day, and A Happy Day for Percy. A, vis a Visit from Thomas is one of my favorite ones, you know, when Oliver finds the dinosaur, and On Side with Thomas is another classic one in my opinion the episode titles weren't the best though 
Anyway, moving on. New friends for Thomas, including season six and season seven. We were just talking about Jack and the Peck, and look, here they are again. You get both season six episodes that revolved around those characters. That's always great to have. And you get introductions to all these characters. Spencer, Murdoch, not really Salty and Harvey. You know, that. I guess that would have been... Could have added those episodes, but they decided not to. Anyway, we get Emily's introduction, Spencer, Arthur, Murdoch, and Jack and the Pack. Characters that would, we would be following for the next few years. Whether they disappeared after a few seasons or continued on into the CGI series. Now... Um, if you don't mind this very bizarre error right here, this DVD is amazing. You know, you get the only white release, I believe, which is really, you know, really stands out. I really love this artwork that some of these classics uh, Thomas and Friends DVDs would have straight from the VHS era. Um, I don't have the pamphlet, unfortunately, but there's the disc. For bonus features, we have Sir Thomas Pat's scrapbook, which in my opinion is the very best bonus feature you could get in any Thomas and Friends DVD. Very fun to look through, clips from different episodes through, throughout the years. You get a sing-along song, and I don't know why it's not mentioned on here, but the song is Five New Engines in the Shed. You know, memorable song. If you can find it with the pamphlet, it is 12 pages, which is, you know, amazing to look through. Those things are great pieces of Thomas memorabilia. You get three DVD games this time, a, a Bad Day at the Works, Really Useful Engines, and Really Useful Places. And Website Fun, which is, you know, not really as useful as you would think, considering it's from years ago. But yeah, classic DVD release, introductions for all these characters in the Thomas and Friends universe. That makes it essential for Thomas and Friends collectors. Okay, moving on. Um, I love me some Thomas and Friends Christmas episodes. There are tons of Thomas and Friends DVD releases throughout the years that included different Christmas episodes from from uh, throughout the years. And I think that I could have picked any any one of them, but the best one, in my opinion, is The Ultimate Christmas. Now, um, this one's specific because it includes episodes from these two DVD releases. Now this one is a lot more difficult to find. So, you know, it's not really as accessible as you would think. This one is more accessible and it does have a lot of cool stuff on here. But if you want to combine these two into one DVD release, save yourself time, energy, and money, you get The Ultimate Christmas. Limited Holiday Edition. Now, as you can see, the again, the DVD design is not really the best. I do really like this picture here, though. And true to the title of the DVD, it is the Ultimate Christmas DVD release. We're going to take a look at the pamphlet so we can look at all the stuff. There's the main menu, a very special and unique main menu, not like the usual ones we usually get. Here are the episodes. You get Snow, Thomas's Christmas Party, Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree, my personal favorite Christmas episode, Terrence Tractor, not a... Christmas episode specifically, but it does have snow, so you know that's that's good. Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure, also known as Thomas and Percy's Mountain Adventure. You get Special Funnel, It's Only Snow, Jack Frost, which is pretty horrifying now that I think about it, and Toby Had a Little Lamb. Those are season six episodes. And the two songs we get are The Snow Song and Winter Wonderland. You get a read along story, a unique Christmas story here. Percy's Order Fun, which I have not played, but looks pretty interesting, I think. Match the Snowflake, another unique Christmas game here for the DVD. Decorate a Christmas tree with James. Look at him. Look at him wearing that hat. How could you not want to play this? And you get Soder Special Delivery. You've got mail. Classic stuff. Great DVD release. Definitely perfect for the holidays. Highly recommended. And the final DVD that I'm going to be talking about is the Collector's Edition Best of James DVD release. Now, I decided to go with James not only because he's, you know, one of my favorite characters in Thomas and Friends, but he does have some of the best episodes in the classic series. 
as you can see listed here, we get a proud day for James, James in a mess, old iron, no joke for James, James learns a lesson, Percy, James in a fruitful day, James goes buzz buzz, and time for trouble. A lot of iconic moments in Thomas and Friends history, as you can see from these images. And one of the main uh, key factors here for getting this DVD is that you get four sing-along songs, which is pretty much unheard of when it comes to Thomas and Friends uh, DVD releases. This one does have the pamphlet. As you can see, we're gonna pull it out real quick. So we can take a look at some of the stuff, you know, the special main menu with James in it. Here are the stories, once again. Fun and games. You get to pick which game you wanna play. Here's a read-along story, Hooray for Thomas. And here are the songs. You get Don't Judge a Book by its cover, Harold the Helicopter, Island Song, and Gone Fishing. I believe this was a missed opportunity to add the song James the Really Splendid Engine, one of my favorite songs as well, now that I think about it. Uh, but yeah, no, still, four songs. That, that alone makes this DVD worth it. And Web Fun, which, you know, not a lot of fun if you can't really use it anymore. God, I love these ads. But, uh, but yeah, anyway. Why you should get this one over the other ones. I mean, you should still get the other ones. They're really unique um, DVD releases, very special. And they all, I believe, also got re-released in uh, Lionsgate by Lionsgate. So whether you get the Anchor Bay release or the Lionsgate release, you should get this. You know, All of this is pretty much still included, I believe. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Let me know down in the comments what DVDs I missed. And be sure to recommend other people any of your favorite Thomas and Friends DVD releases. You know, it's great to help each other out. And I hope I helped out some people with recommendations here. I'm always asked what my favorite DVD release is, what DVDs I recommend, some of the best ones. And, you, you know, here you go. You get five of them. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if I should do another one of these. Maybe I'll do some CGI Thomas and Friends uh, DVD releases, maybe even some some movies I could recommend. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.